Dear God in heaven, thank you for the person listening and in agreement with this prayer. May they know that they are valued and they are loved. In Philippians 4, 6-7, your word says, Be anxious for nothing, but with everything through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. Give them the mind of Christ. Exchange their level of thinking for your thinking and transform them by the renewing of their minds as written in Romans 12 and 2. May they find your direction by acknowledging you in all thy ways and leaning not to their own understanding as written in Proverbs 3 and 6. Give them peace, courage, love, understanding, and wisdom. But your word says in Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing, so get wisdom, and in all thy getting, get an understanding. Because you direct us to get an understanding, we understand that understanding is available to us. Help us to apply wisdom principles to receive the promise of wisdom in our lives. We bind the enemy who would work to infiltrate our mind with negative thoughts and thoughts of despair. Allow us to change our thinking and to view ourselves the way you view us. For in Jeremiah 29 and 11, your word says, I know the plans I have for you, thoughts to prosper you and to give you an expected end. Help us to hold on to this truth and to hold on to the hope of better days, hope of answers, hope of positive outcomes, hope of victory, hope of triumph, and hope of peace. May we exchange whatever weight we carry for the peace of God which surpasses all human comprehension. Through the word, we realize that we can be in challenging situations, but we can have peace and joy in spite of. So we call for peace, joy, happiness, victorious mindsets, and thoughts of overcoming and winning. May we rest in the promises of God and not become weary in well-doing as written in Galatians 6 and 9, because we have a promise of reaping if we faint not. For if we faint in the day of adversity, our strength is small, according to Proverbs 24 and 10. May our strength be big, may our strength be consistent, and may our strength carry us through this season into victory. Help us to see your goodness even in this moment. You promise Romans 8 and 28 that all things are working together for good. So we enthusiastically anticipate the good to be revealed in this season, expeditiously. In Jesus' name, amen.